Hey guys, Hillary Hall here with another recipe. Today I am talking about cravings and I have a sweet tooth. I'll, I'm confessing. This is my confession time. And I, one of the best ways, the easiest ways to keep me on track is to have a snack in the freezer. And I like them in the freezer because it's, it doesn't signal to my brain that they're just ready available, but that, you know, every once in a while, if I just have that sweet tooth that hits me really hard, then I have that option to go to. And when they're in the freezer, they obviously last longer, right? So we're gonna make Hillary's emergency snack balls today. And they are fully raw and actually paleo. Everything that is in this recipe is completely from the earth. So enjoy this recipe, let's get started. That is going to be the crumble coating. So let's blend this up. Obviously this is a really high fat snack and that's one of the reasons why I love it because if I'm craving, I really wanna find something that's going to leave me completely satisfied and good natural fats is the best way to go about that. This is a really fun recipe to do with your kids. They have a lot of fun making this. There's not really any cutting. There isn't any cutting involved and they can get their hands a little dirty. They're really good at measuring. Okay, next we're gonna need a cup and a half, which that's basically what that is, a cup and a half of pitted dates. So that's the rest of my dates. I'm gonna recycle that. This is completely optional. Um, you actually don't even need to put the maple syrup in it unless you just want to. I don't want to go crazy on the salt, so I'm measuring that one over here. And that's it. So that is going to conclude the ingredients for the actual ball. So I'm gonna blend this up so that it's really well blended and actually get my spatula and start pressing down the edges to make sure that everything is getting um, fully chopped up and blended. Okay, so the finished puree should look something like this. You will have a few date chunks and that's actually the way I like it completely up to you and the consistency, but go ahead and give it a check first before you start rolling your balls. Okay, now it's time to get started on making the balls. So we're going to get the batter that we just made and roll it up into little balls. You're gonna get nice and dirty on this one. Okay, and then you're just going to roll it into the crumble. Get it good and rolled in there. All right, and then I put them in little parchment papers and I'm gonna separate them like that until I get them all done. 
and stick them in the freezer for anywhere from two to four hours or even overnight and they become nice and firm. So I'm gonna get started on this and see you in a little bit. Oh, I was going to say too, um, one of the things that I did, because the balls, when you first blend them up, can be a little too soft, so I froze it for just about five minutes to get it nice and firm, so now it's easy to mold it into balls. All right guys, well that's a wrap. I came out with 20 balls in my recipe. You might have more, you might have less. It all just depends on how big or small you made the balls. Uh, I did have a lot of the crumble left over, so I'm gonna save that, and you should save it too. Put it in your fridge and use it on top of oatmeal. It's really good mixed in yogurt. So uh, don't let that go to waste. But the, this is obviously the next morning. I'm in a totally different outfit now. Um, but I wanted to have these nice and frozen to show you guys just that they're nice and firm and they came out to the consistency that I was hoping for. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. And um, one last thing, if you do not have a wellness mat, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. I'm standing on my wellness mat. Y'all see me do all my workouts on the fitness mat. This is the home edition wellness mat. And I have this one over my sink because that's where I spend most of my time cleaning dishes or even cleaning produce and that sort of thing. So um, I can't say how much I strongly recommend these. You won't know how awesome they are until you get one for yourself. I, being now almost to the third trimester, we're 25 weeks now. Um, now more than ever, I gotta tell you, this is, saving my life because my ankles, at the end of the day, my ankles sort of swell a little bit, my hips hurt, and um, this just gives me so much relief. So I strongly believe in them so much that I've even got a few of my family members a mat for Christmas, but I can't tell you who because I will be spoiling it. But um, yeah, so don't just get fitness mats for your workouts, get a wellness mat for your kitchen too. It's the home edition portion of the website. So you can still go to wellnessmatsfitness.com uh, uh, and search for um, the home edition mats. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. I really appreciate you guys and your feedback. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.